Hi, my name is Greg Pallia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to cost effectively restore a unique or unusual roofing system. And talking about commercial roofs that have, you know, different roofing areas, uh, different slopes, maybe it could be sloping this way, flat this way, and then it goes up a wall, skylights, all that unique, weird stuff, anything besides a flat, boring roof. Um, we're going to talk about how to cost effectively um, restore that roof today. Um, and really, the only two options are uh, the, uh, the fluid applied roofing system. Um, there's spray polyurethane foam, and there's roof coating systems um, on their own. And the reason they're both the best cost effective system to use because they're fluid applied. They go over penetrations really easy. They go up walls easy. They go around drains easy. They, no matter what it is, you can just spray foam it real easy and keep on going. Um, any other roofing systems out there, like the, um, the single plies, the metals, anything that's flat that can't be construed, um, is going to take a lot more labor to install. You have to piece together certain things. Um, it's just not going to be a cost effective as something that's fluid applied and easy to install. Um, like I said, the only two fluid applied systems are spray polyurethane foam and roof coating systems. Um, what's an example of a unique or unusual roof? Um, one that's got an internal draining system. You have a drain running right through the middle of the whole roof. The pipes come through the building. Um, that's a unique roof. That's going to be hard kind of the, to install a single ply or metal roofing system on there just because you have to mess with that drain the whole time and keep it there. Um, spray foam, you might be able to even seal up that internal drain, uh, make it a more traditional draining system if it's causing issues. Um, roofs with vertical walls. We just did a roof uh, a couple summers ago. I think the roof was like 12 feet high, 60 feet long, and was 3,200 square feet on top. Like It was just a huge thing. It would take forever. It would be so labor intensive to roll up rubber all the way up there and over top and make sure everything's watertight. Just so much more of a hassle than having something that just, you just go ch -ch -ch, spray, 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 and keep on going, and you're done. Um, roofs with tons of skylights on them. Um, you might have to remove them. You might have to do whatever you can to keep them watertight, but... Just the ease of spraying around them just makes something so much easier than something that has to be pieced together. Um, like I said, the problems with traditional roofing systems, they're just, they just get in the way. The, any penetration just interrupts the process and it takes forever. And I've seen roofs where you can't go three feet without something being in the way. It would take forever to piece together a, you know, a single ply roof on that system. Um, you should at least get a quote for a coating system and you know the labor will be in that project cost, but you know, that all combined might be a lot less than if you went with a single ply system. And then what's the projected cost difference um, between the two? Um, and what factors make it a bigger difference? Um, there's really no, no way to tell. I guess the easiest, simplest way is the more unique and the more unusual and the more penetrations are on a roof, the more a fluid applied system is going to be cheaper per square foot than a non-fluid applied system. Uh, but what I would do is just get a quote for Get a quote for a single ply system, get a quote for a metal roof, get a quote for a roof coating system or spray foam. Just see what they have, see what they offer, and then you can compare you know, what the cost is you know, at that time. Um, that's really it for today. If you want to learn more about any of these points, um, there's a link to the blog post in the description. Um, but I hope you took away at least one thing new today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.